what's up y'all welcome back to my channel and welcome to if you are new it's your girl tiffany welcome on in to the real theophania listen i want to discuss and talk about overcoming the spirit of offense and why it is so so important to put this down because it can hold you back it can keep you from growing it can also hold you back in your connections and relationships with people and it can you you be finding yourself getting fired from job after job or quitting job after job or being unstable all the time because of the spirit of offense so i want to talk about this so when I talk about when I first really encountered the spirit of offense, I think it was really when I was young. I saw it a lot in my childhood, in my household, you know, couldn't say nothing. Um, and, you know, for black, for black children, we get raised in a household where any time you are trying to express yourself is considered you're talking back. So, especially as 90s kids, I'm sorry, you guys, my, uh, Lip liner was really about to bother me. It was all over the place. <laughs> and I don't know what was going on with that. But back then in those times, expressing yourself was not a thing. Like you were taught to express yourself in certain situations and scenarios. But when it came to expressing yourself, um, Rather you were when especially where you were like considered to be in trouble or have done something wrong and you're trying to just express what happened or why you feel like, you know, you shouldn't be getting in trouble or something, oh, it's considered talking back. So you say the wrong thing and your parents are quickly offended and now you're getting in trouble or now you're getting whooped whooped or something like that. Um and not even just that, just witnessing the unnecessary arguments in in, in the household because folks was always offended and so <clears throat> i want to talk about this because that's where i first experienced it now where i began to experience it in other parts of my life as an adult i myself was a very easily offended individual i took a lot of stuff personally i took a lot of stuff personally and it's because i wasn't mature yet um i was between 19 and 23 night yeah and really like by the time i was 23 i had kind of started to grow out of that, <clears throat> out of that between 19 and 22 um i was i was an easily offended gal okay very easily offended um and again like i said it came from a lack of maturity to be honest with you so when people would say stuff you know i'm perceiving it to be a certain perceiving it from a certain type of way and i also believe that offense stems from a certain type of mindset as well when you are very rigid on how you think i really feel like people who are easily offended don't aren't aren't willing to look at other perspectives when you are somebody that are able to see from several different perspectives and you kind of back yourself up so that you can see things from a wider view and not just your own little box that you're seeing stuff from, you're not as easily offended because you kind of can put yourself in that person's shoes and understand where they're coming from. Even though you might want to cut into them, that maturity kicks in and you start to put yourself in their shoes or see their try to see their point because you understand that everything shouldn't be taken personally. And um, that was something that I lacked a lot in my adulthood. And this is something that I have experienced in friendships, uh, romantic situations, and everything. I remember my first college boyfriend. This is why we used to stay in arguments all the time. Because he had a very easily offended spirit. I had a very easily offended spirit. So we always was arguing back and forth. Um, I could not say nothing to this man without him wanting to... Um, have a rebuttal or something like that and it got very annoying after a while um when it wasn't until i started to change my mind because i'm like you know what i'm tired of bickering back and forth with people i'm tired of always having to feel like i have to defend and this is the thing about when you have the spirit of offense on you you're closed-minded in a way when you ha and i know this might be very triggering this whole video is going to be triggering to people who have who are easily offended I'm going to tell you right now, this whole video is going to be very triggering to people who have, a, you're easily offended. When you are easily offended, it comes from, you have a narrow way of thinking. 
and, and anybody that thinks differently, differently than you, you're going to have a problem with it. When they say things in a way that you don't necessarily aren't able to wrap your mind around. But this is another reason why the Lord says be slow to speak <laughs> and be quick to listen. Because when you are listening and you and in the second you hear something that that goes against what you think or how you see things or what you believe, you're quick to respond. And you haven't even taken the time to actually sit and listen to what's being said. This is why you'll have so many people that will argue about something and then you'll be like, okay, wait a minute. No, y'all actually do agree. Y'all just are fighting to prove each to prove y'all's point. And you don't even see that y'all actually are agreeing with each other. Y'all are just saying it in two different ways. That is coming from a spirit of offense. When you're offended, now you get on the defense and you feel the need to defend your point, defend your argument, defend your statement, defend your viewpoint or whatever the case may be. And this is something that will cause you to be hindered if you don't get that together. If you do not consider other people's viewpoints and, and understand that we are all different people. God has made us all uniquely different 7.8 billion people on the planet. We do not all think the same. We do not all talk the same. So we have to be open to understanding where people are coming from. You know what I'm saying? If you don't do this, you are going to hold yourself back. You are going to hinder yourself. It's going to harm you more than it helps you to constantly have to defend your viewpoint and your this and that because what if you're not even right? And so constantly feeling like you have to defend your viewpoint maybe your viewpoint needs to change constantly feeling like you need to defend your belief maybe your belief system needs to shift you know to constantly defend how you feel what if you feel is not right and so we have to be open to understanding other people that is what it means to be open-minded doesn't mean that you have to come into agreement with everything that you hear and what people say but it means that you're open to understanding a closed-minded person is someone who is not able to understand. This is why you have to be slow to speak and quick to listen. Because when you're listening to respond, you haven't given any space to actually sit and meditate on what was said. Also, this will open you up to believe in any little thing you hear. Just because somebody speaks a little bit of truth don't mean that, oh, they're on God's side. No. No. Don't be, don't be a fool. <laughs> don't be foolish. Use your discernment. A lot of the time, easily offended people aren't using their discernment. They're using their emotions. And they think that those emotions are speaking to them and telling them truth about a circumstance or situation. And it's not. It's clouding you. It's clouding your judgment. Being easily offended will hold you back. And the best way to stop being offended is to take that to God and ask him to search your heart and make it right for him to reveal what is it in me that is causing me to be on the offense all the time you're you're constantly looking for the opposition ready to respond to the opposition also something that the lord had put on my heart in regards to defense and, and offense and this was a few weeks ago is that it comes from uh, where you feel like you lack. This is why uh, you can go around people. And ladies, I know we can all attest to this. You can go around. For, for instance, you can go around a group of other women. And somebody is going to be offended. You ain't said a word. You haven't said nothing. Or maybe you do talk. Maybe you do share your viewpoints or whatever. Y'all just having a conversation. And somebody is offended. Someone feels some type of way about you about the way you dress, about the way you smile, about the way you glow, whatever the case may be, about the way you think, the way you speak. They feel some type of way because of the lack that is in them. And instead of just taking that as an opportunity to reflect, instead of taking that as an opportunity to even be inspired and being like, okay, God, how can I step into into um my boldness like how she walks in boldness how can i step into my into my confidence the way she speaks with conviction lord how can i um begin to 
uh get deeper in your word the way you know what i'm saying we instead of us being so quick to respond out of a place of offense why don't we just sit with this stuff because when you find yourself in lack meaning you feel like you should be a certain type of way you feel like you should be a certain type of level or you should be further than you are or whatever the case may be and when when you see people who are in places that you want to be or you see people with things that you want to have or you hear people speaking in a way that you may not you may not be there yet or whatever the case may be it's not that these people are trying to do something sinister <laughs> it's not that these people may be trying to show off it's not that they may be it comes from something inside of here that feels like there's lack well i don't have that so and this is another thing y'all just because your reality and what you're dealing with is what it is don't mean that somebody else is not experiencing something the completely opposite so we have to learn how to broaden our mind we have to learn how to be open to understanding the world around us and people around us and understand all of us are not going through the exact same things, the same exact way, having the same exact experiences. One person can be over here crying and sad and somebody else is over here experiencing joy and freedom. Somebody else over here can be completely depressed and somebody else is over here overcoming their depression. Everybody is going through something different. You know what I'm saying? And so we have to learn how to just understand where we are, where other people are, and stop trying to conform and press everybody into a box because, well, this is where I'm at, so why are, why are you not there? No. <laughs> no. Come out of this spirit of offense because it can and it will hold you back. Until next time.